Hey guys, my name is Lenny and today I'm working on lighting um, actually the day-night cycle but for now I'm testing out uh, different ways to render lighting lighting effects um, the thing is libgdx and its shader is not the easiest thing to um, manage so I went with much easier way um, as before um, previously and I think I got this done. It's still gonna be a lot of work to um, improve the performance, but for now, I think I'm able to render um, simple point lights. I can actually change the way it's being rendered, so it's like pausing or um, changing its um, distance. This is a 20 ray light with, um, I think, 180 from 180 to 200 uh, distance it's white light uh, and let's see there's another one here okay can I light it there we go there's one more right here oh that one ran out I need to be faster Alright, so it doesn't seem to um, affect my performance in any way and I'm really messing around when I'm creating these. Um, I can optimize my code a little bit. I'm actually pretty happy about it because it was really painful to get it done and I was super scared of um, having to implement those shaders. Also, um, I have added console, so, and I have uh, kind of improved the console because right now you're gonna be limited to a certain amount of messages. I think it's like 10 messages, and they just, uh, the newest one is um, at the bottom. And I'm trying to simulate a console or a message window from any other MMO I've been to. So those messages are just kind of filling from the bottom and leaving through the top. There are still no slider and I don't intend to add a slider right away. But I'm, but I'm happy with uh, what I got right now. So this is pretty much what I have done. I have actually done more things. Um, I have re-implemented the, the forge. Or or even the clay oven. Let's put it right there. Let's grab the forge. Let's grab the kiln. Oops. Oh, it's there. And the smeltery as well, I think. Oh, they are pretty close to each other. Well, um, let's give it a try. I'm also gonna drop another campfire right there just so we can see all right so let's um, let's build this one that's the clay oven oh I cannot move around here so there's a bug that puts the, the oven actually the, the oven is in the right spot I guess but the the blocking rectangle is in a wrong spot. Let's light it up. So that's working. You can actually put, yeah, this one is built improperly as well. You can actually put in um, bread dough and you can bake bread in that. Let's light this one up. Alright, that one is lit as well. Let's build the forge. There we go. Um, it kind of looks weird when there's more stuff together that's being lit. But yeah, never mind that. Um, I'm happy that I got, uh, got the lighting done. I can tweak it um, later. So if you're new uh, this 
this kiln is used to make bricks you can open the inventory you can dig clay from the from the water i guess from the yeah from the bank and um you can put the clay in wait like two minutes and the clay is transformed into black bricks and you can use bricks to make the smeltery and the forge uh, the smelter is used to process raw ores into ingots and the forge um, is used as a proximity crafting workbench which means when you're crafting stuff made out of metal like iron eggs or whatever you need to be standing near the forge in order to craft those items uh, yeah that's all i wanted to talk about so <laughs> i like it this one was short so see you guys next time oh wait i should talk about what i'm gonna implement next well i'm gonna tweak those lights and i'm gonna fix them because right now it's like temporary oh i should show you the code actually <laughs> i totally forgot sorry about that so i got uh, uh, I got this ray handler which I use right here every time I draw stuff I remove all the lights from the handler ray handler which is probably not the best idea um, and then I add them in again based on the objects that I got um, in the game I have a special array or list of objects that are um, edit well the list is uh, contains only sources of light and those objects actually can be lit so I go through all the sources then I check those that are lit and then I check if I should be actually um, drawing them into the screen right now because you get you can get you can have um, lights like miles away from your character you don't want to render those then I just do some magic with the uh, location and I and I create the point light based on the location uh, you, I use the ray handler I use 20 rays this is just white color and um, this is the variable for uh, the light distance that changes it just go, yeah, it keeps increasing until it reaches like its maximum and then it starts decreasing so that creates the pulsating effect and then I set it as static light um, I'm actually using box 2D lighting I think or box 2D lights um, which can actually render like you can actually have objects in the way of the light and it draws um, shadows and stuff I'm trying to avoid that for now I'm using static lights and then I just um, render the lights there's actually an issue I think with the uh, with the ray handler I'm not sure what issue it is actually but when I'm trying to open my inventory it's not doing anything I'll have to figure out what the problem is but when I start messing around with other stuff it just yeah there we go and everything displays I'm not actually sure what's going on here um, but I'll have to investigate further all right that's the code um, what else I wanted to talk about I think that's it oh yeah the the dependencies I'm using this one for box 2d lights and you have to add uh, this one for the natives this one without this one won't work because you won't have those uh, libraries for the for your um, yeah those native li libraries all right that's that's pretty much it what's next um I still need to fix uh, weapon throwing uh, actually for the spear that's the animation when you grab a spear and throw it at the 
innocent rabbit. Um, it actually calculates the trajectory you need to like uh, rotate the image or texture so it looks like it's actually pointed towards the, the animal and um, you need to animate it like so it like looks like it flies there. I still need to go through um, the tracking system. Actually those tracks that are left by animals are not rotated indicating uh, which direction the animal went. So I need to go there and uh, fix that. I need to go through all the farming um, farming tiles, uh, watered farming tiles, uh, seeds and um, planting seeds and uh, harvesting seeds. Yeah, just all that um, up till the point where you can actually eat carrots and bake bread. I think I need to go through all that uh, to make sure it's working. I think there are gonna be some problems with that. Then I, I'm gonna fix instances. They are totally broken right now. They're upside down and not working properly. And then I got a few things um, as a new stuff, I guess. Um, but that's for the future. So, uh, see you guys in the next one.